In this video, I'll be showing you five things not to do during winter refresh. And you might be thinking, Lewis, who's give you that fresh trim? What is the cap? What's going on? Me, bitch. Yeah, I cut my own uh, and I'll probably get roasted for it, but I don't care. I'm, I don't mind. I've got an air cut. You, you've not. Just before we get into the video, lads, if you do want to buy yourself any FIFA 21 coins, make sure to go to the link in the description and check out Mule Factory. They've got a 24-7 service. They're completely reliable. And if you use the code LE5CHEAP at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. So boys, jumping straight into this video, I just wanted to start this video just by showing you what the team is looking like at the minute. I don't think it's too bad, to be honest. Moore gets subbed off for Rashford. I play 4-4-2 in game. I've not won a game with it yet. Excellent. Either way though boys, in this video is going to be 5 things not to do during the winter refresh promo. I do these for every single promo event and they always do really really well so I thought why not do another one of these. Boys, if you enjoy this video, like target on this is going to be over 1000 likes. I know you can do it. And if we hit that as well, I'll show you a glitch in FIFA 21. It's been a while. Fair enough. But let's jump into point number 1. It is going to be don't buy packs. Well, you honestly thought I was going to make one of these videos and not mention this. Boys, do not open packs. I don't care what your reasoning is. Do not go and pay for FIFA points. Do not open them with coins. Do not do anything. Your best bet at the minute, boys, is not going on the transfer market. It is actually going over to play, going over to squad building challenges and completing a full league SBC. Now, at the minute, these league SBCs are ridiculously, ridiculously cheap to go and complete. You can get solutions on Footbin. There's a link to Footbin in pretty much every description of all my videos so you can go and check that out. However, here's a couple that I really like that you can go and do as well. Serie A, really good one to go and do. Bundesliga, another good one. Premier League, another good one. League Earn is constantly, constantly slept on. I saw something on Twitter the other day where you could complete this for like 120k at the minute and you get a Jumbo Rare Players Pack and all these packs as well. Like all of these packs right here. The, it's definitely good value for coins. Put it that way at the minute boys. And especially with how sort of dead silvers have been recently. I think this is a very very good thing to do. Now if you want to do it for as cheap as possible. What you need to do is do this on Thursday nights. When we get supply from marquee matchups. When we get marquee matchups typically. We'll get stuff that includes say for example. An Electrum players pack. So let's just take a look at marquee matchups from last week. As you'll be able to see right here. We've got Remix players pack. Which did actually give some silver supply which did actually bring the price down ever so slightly. They're usually the lowest on Thursdays and then over the week they do fluctuate tiny, tiny, tiny bit up and they're sometimes quite low on Fridays as well. So there you go boys. Point number one, don't open packs with coins, FIFA points, go and do the League SBC method. If you want someone to actually go and look at for this method, Fuzzball40, I'll leave his link in the description. Go and check him out and do me a solid lads. Comment on, you know what, I'll leave a link to his first episode and just spam Oosh in his comments. There you go the boys, sweet. Is that Ansu Fati? Ansu Fati! Oh my god, what a hit! Come on! Now we've got that out of the way, we can actually get into what the hell Winter Refresh is. Why have I got a Prime Icon moments on the thumbnail? What's going on, Lewis? What's going on? Right, Winter Refresh is basically a new promo event which got introduced in FIFA 20. Now before this, what we did actually have were upgrades around January time, back in like FIFA 19, 18, 17, 16. And it was actually something which a lot of people did invest in. They started investing, honestly, in like October before this. I remember back in the day, there was someone called LDog28. I know, it sounds like I'm making someone up here. But there was someone back in the day called LDog28 and he started investing for stuff like this way, way, way back in the day. Now, basically what it is, boys, in the past what it used to be was any player who's decent, they got an upgrade. And if they get an upgrade, the special car goes up one and up and up and up. But however, last year what we actually got was a winter refresh promo event. So first off, EA released a bunch of players into packs. Shock horror. And there were players like Ibrahimovic who had recently transferred over to AC Milan. There's people like Eris... Erickson? Erickson, who was in there, who had recently transferred over to Inter. And it was basically any players who'd played well, who had transferred clubs, they got a winter refresh card. So it basically replaced winter ones to watch. Now, my second point is going to be thus. Do not panic invest. Now, one thing which I actually saw yesterday, now what a lot of people thought was going to happen yesterday was that we were going to get ourselves UEFA marquee matchups. And what people started doing was they started panicking investing. 
Why, Lewis, you might ask? Because people are daft. So basically what started happening was people started investing in these UCL rares in the run up to 6 p.m. Now, I was doing this. However, I was sniping. So it's, it's a tiny, 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 tiny bit different. However, in the run up to 6 p.m., these UCL rares started selling at 2,000, 2,200, 2,300. When at the start of the day, they were going for like 1.2 to 1.5K. And when I was sniping them, I was getting at 1.5K and I was selling them to these people at 2,000 coins. So that's going to be my next point, boys. Please do not panic invest going into this promo event. And you might be saying, well, what the hell am I going to do then? Well, look at it this way. Tomorrow, we will have a couple of different SBCs expiring. So if we go over to the player tab once again, and we go over to squad building challenges, if we take a look at the live tab and we go over to, where are they? Where are they? Let's take a look. The 81 plus double upgrade. That's expiring in two days. So it'll be expiring at 6 p.m. on Friday. The 83 plus upgrade as well. What is going to happen when these start to expire is that the demand for a lot of these will start to come down. So what you can actually do in the run up to Friday is start to invest in these cards as the sort of hype dies down for the SBCs. Now we've got rewards day tomorrow. Now this is something that I do every single Thursday and members, if you're watching this video, you know exactly what I'm talking about here. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, boys, Unlucky, you need to be a member. But what you can actually go out and do every single rewards day is just go and pick yourself up fodder for snipes. And what starts to happen is you can get it early in the morning. Say, for example, someone like Tagliafico on the market right now, he is actually going for a very, very ridiculously, ridiculously high price for this card at 11,000 coins. So what you can actually do come Thursday is just go onto the market and just start doing some sniping just around these cards. And what you should do is pick them up as cheap as you could possibly can do. So someone with Tagliafico, if I see a drop off of like 20, 30% tomorrow, Tomorrow, it's a buy for me because in the run up to 6 p.m. on Thursday, they'll go up in price and there's a selling window then. Or if I want to, I can sell them when we get an SBC on Friday. However, what I would do is I would pick up all of your players that you will ever need for this promo event Thursday. So that includes fodder. It also includes stuff for icon swaps. One thing that I've been keeping a big, big eye on recently is gold team of the weeks from the Super League and the Chinese League as well. All of these special cards at the minute are up as a result of different SBCs. However, I don't think that some of these are the worst buys in the world. For example, this mentor has jumped up to 15,000 coins. Now, last week when I was telling you guys to invest in him, he was actually going for 11,000 coins. So there is still some wiggle room on some of these cards and you can take a look at these tomorrow. So you can take a look at them you can also take a look at cards like Vishka for example or what you can do is you can just go and watch my trading to glory series and there's a whole host of cards in there I'm not going to tell you to reinvest in those cards because at the minute they are way too expensive so for example Vishka is someone from the Super League who people could use for icon swaps which is going to be coming for Friday hence why I'm telling you about this and then you can invest in him and then you can sell him on on Friday when he may be needed for icon swaps because that's going to be another thing that's coming we've got winter refreshes icon swaps and prime icon moments, the boys. I am never going to financially recover from this. Moving into point number three, it is going to be my next point. I have just alluded to it there. Just don't panic invest, but don't panic buy on Friday, right? This is what's going to happen on Friday. So we're going to get prime icon moments. We're going to get loads of different stuff on Friday. Please do me a massive, 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 massive solid. Do not buy any, any prime icon moments, winter refreshes or any kind of new cards this Friday. Now the reason for it is, is we saw this last year and you can take a look at pretty much all of the graphs last year for pretty much a lot of prime icon moments. I was taking a look at someone like Petit before. Now what happened was, is they came out on Friday, by the Saturday Petit had dropped a considerable, considerable amount. Just because a card comes out on Friday doesn't mean that you need it right there and then the boys. Like say for example, we get a prime icon moments push cash and you look Looking at it and you're like, yeah, I like that price. Oh, 6 million coins sounds spicy to me. I guarantee you that if he's 6 million coins on Friday, it'll be 5 million on Saturday. And this is basically what happens, boys. The icon market on Friday will be a very, very volatile place. Now, we are going to talk about buying and what you can actually do to make some coins on Friday. But please, for the love of God, do not buy any winter refresh items. Please do not buy any prime icon moments. Even you stuff for your icon swaps as well will probably be inflated on Friday. Your buying time this week has to be tomorrow. Moving into point number four, it's actually going to be a point about gameplay. Now, I bet you weren't expecting to see something like this in an LA96Z video after my excellent weekend league just gone. Oh, it's beautiful. Meat pie, sausage roll. Come on, Wigan, scores a goal. Oh my God, this guy's fuming. However, 
if we go over to the objectives at the minute, as you'll be able to see, EA have actually introduced Weekend League Plus, which is, it's not actually too bad, to be honest. And you've got Win 10, which will actually give you an extra player pick for this weekend from Team of the Week 21. You can win 16, do the same, and it is like one out of four. But to be honest, in my opinion, if you're winning 10, one out of three is better than doing 16 for one out of four. I just feel like that the bare minimum is always better with EA, in my opinion. So what I'm actually going to recommend for you to do on this weekend league is play no more than 11 wins. Now, you might be saying, Lewis, that's only going to get me silver one. Why would I want to do that? However, in my opinion, at the minute, if we go over to foot champions and we just go over to the schedule, if you take a look at the rewards in terms of gold three and silver one with that extra player pick, in my opinion, I don't really think that it's the the player to be honest so if you take a look at gold three at the bottom it's two player picks two mega packs one rare players packs however if you take a look at silver one it's one player pick a jumbo premium gold players pack and one mega pack now in my opinion if you play to 11 wins you've got the extra player pick so you've got two player picks right there you've got a 100k pack and a mega pack or you could play for gold three and admittedly you will have that extra player pick but in my opinion i just don't feel like gold three is worth the hassle this weekend i think playing just to 11 wins this weekend in my my opinion is probably the play if you want to just save yourself a bit of time maybe you want to play a different game go on cod with your mates go and play valorant go and do anything go and just stand outside and look at some dog shit on the floor is probably a better option than playing weekend league this weekend in my opinion so point number four don't play any more than 11 wins you really really do not need to because you can get pretty much the same rewards as gold three if not better as well because you get the mega pack and the 100k pack admittedly you get another mega pack here but you get a 50k pack so Silver one is definitely the player this weekend boys It's free real estate now the last one boys. I'm honestly not too sure how I'm gonna word this I'm just gonna say What, what, what am I gonna say don't ignore icon trading does that work? Yeah, I suppose it I suppose it does boys boys. I'm sorry. I don't make the rules. Well, you did make the rules However, if we jump over to icons, this is a little trading method that you can do this weekend if you've got, say, a couple hundred K. Now, in my opinion, I think that icon sniping this weekend is going to be very, very good because what's going to happen is loads of people are going to be panic selling icons off because, I don't know, because the, the the daft, I suppose. So what you need to do is go and find the minimum price of all icons, and you probably know this at this stage. Just put it down maybe 10,000, 20,000 coins, whatever the minimum price is. So at the minute, the minimum price is 155K on all all these icons in my opinion the best thing to do is just put this down say 10k and put it to 145 and you should do that with pretty much any icon at this stage 10k covers the tax and it's the most basic way of doing this method however if you want something the tiniest bit more advanced what you need to do is go over to the max price right here and just set this to 131k and just see what you can find on the market now as you'll be able to see on the market right now as I'm doing this there's one card over the hour mark and that's the big thing with all this you basically need to play around with this max price and get it as high as you possibly can do whilst there is still one card of the hour mark now the reason for this is is because we're going to be doing compare price and backing out and from this it will actually give you a whole host of different icons depending on how high that max price is because say for example someone lists a card up some default prices on some of the cards are a lot higher than say 60 odd k or they may get listed up at a minimum price of like 100k and then the next one's 200k and the icon might be going for like 300k so what you need to do one card over the hour mark which is what we've done here here. So I've set it to around 145k there or thereabouts, which is what it is on Xbox at the minute. Then what I do is I compare price and back out. And basically any icon card who gets listed up on the market with a max price or min price or whatever, the start price, whatever it is, that is anything under 140k will get shown on this. Now what happens is, is when people rage list icons is they don't bother setting a start price. They just can't be bothered doing it and people make mistakes. So if you sit here and just refresh and back out, refresh and back out, you will see yourself some very, very good icons. I have been making an icon sniping video for a very, very long time. And to be honest, I'm probably going to scrap it. However, I have seen so many decent deals. I have seen myself a Dal Gleesh, a mid Dal Gleesh pop up at minimum price on a Friday night. And I can remember it as well because I was just about to order a Papa John's. So 
<laughs> there you go. You know I'm not lying. Either way though, boys, this is a little method that you can use this Friday. Try this with the min one and try this one as well. Basically, what you're trying to find here is when a card pops up, you check foot bin, you try and find whatever the stable price is. You pick it up if it's a big, big undercut and you try and sell it on for a profit. Now with icons, you normally don't get an instant sell on. It's much, much longer process. And like I said, I'm not the most experienced on icons, so I usually try and go for quick flips. And I'd probably recommend for you to do that as well. If you don't know anything about icon trading, just do quick flips in the first instance. Try and not turn down deals. So, for example, say a Deco popped up and his min price on the market right now is 299k. If you saw him at 280, it's not a buy. You'd be looking more like 250 or whatever it may be. And then you flip it on for 290 and you make profit that way. Do you get what I'm saying, boys? But, let's, I think that's where I'm going to be wrapping this video up. Hope you guys did enjoy it. I'll jump back over to the team. Let me know down in the comment section what improvements can I make to this team Martial needs to go because he is an absolute fraud but boys hope you did enjoy this video if you did drop a like on it comment down below if you need help with anything subscribe if you are new we are on the road to 150,000 subscribers I want to hit it this year help me the boys it's 96 Lewis and I am off goodbye